analysis of algorithms. To go from point A to point B, from city A to city B, there are many ways for accomplishing this, either by flight, by bus, by train, by bicycle, or others. So the, depending on the availability and convenience, we choose the one that suits us. Similarly, in computer science, multiple algor algorithms are available for solving the same problem. For example, a sorting problem has many algorithms like insertion sort, selection sort, quick sort, and many more. Algorithms analysis helps us to determine which algorithm must or most efficient in terms of time and space command. Now, the analysis of algorithms. Comparing algorithms in terms of execution time, memory usage, and developer effort, the number of statements. So, to compare algorithms, let us define a few objective measures. Like execution time, not a good measure as execution times are specif specific to a particular computer. And number of statements executed like the developer effort, not a good measure since the number of statements varies with the programming languages as well as the style of the individual programmer. And so what is the case of uh, the uh, ideal solution? Let us assume that we express the running time of a given algorithm as a function of the input size n. So the function would be f of n. And compare these different functions corresponding to running times. This kind of comparison is independent of machine time, programming style, and etc. I know this may be confused, it may be confusing for uh, a little bit. What is the rate of growth? The rate of growth at which the running time increases as a function of input is called rate of growth. Let us assume that we go to a shop to buy a car and bicycle. If your friend sees you there and asks what you are buying, then in general, you say buying a car. This is because the cost of the car is high or high, uh, higher than the bicycle. So the cost of the car is high compared to the cost of bicycle, approximating the cost of the bicycle to the cost of the car. So the total cost the car price would be like uh, $40,000 and the price of bicycle is $100. So the total cost for you and for your friend or, uh, or whatever, it would be the total cost equal to the price of the car. Okay, so we neglect the price of bicycle. Similarly, in the computer engineering or the computer science, for the above, the, of this mentioning uh, or the mentioned example, we can represent the cost of a car and the cost of bicycle in terms of function. And for a given function, ignore the low order terms that we are re relatively insignificant for large value of input size n. So consider n is n to power four plus one hundred n square plus four is approximately equal to n to power four. As an example, in the case, in this case, n to power four and n squared and uh, n to power zero are the individual costs of some function and approximate to n to power four since n to power four is the highest rate of growth. Okay, so, Let's see the rate of growth in algorithms. In the same example of the car and the bicycle, we have the big O notation that we are going to learn in the next video. And these are the examples of algorithms. So 
We are going to uh, go deeply in the next videos for the big O notation and we take an example about them. But till now, I need from you to understand that the highest power in the function would be considered as it's the biggest rate of growth. Okay? So, we will start from O to, to uh, 1. Okay? It is the 1. This is pushing or pop, uh, popping or in Q or the deck accessing an array element. It will cost us 1. Okay? Log to log of n in like in binary search, O of n linear search, search, and n log n heap sort, quick sort, merge sort, n square selection sort, insertion sort, bubble sort, n to power three matrix multiplication, and two to power n towers of Hano. Don't worry. We will clarify everything in the next video. So, I need from you to understand the rate of growth growth in, in this way. So, we take the highest degree in the 